Integration Testing In this phase of testing, individual modules are combined and tested as a group. Data transfer between the modules is tested thoroughly. Integration testing is carried out by testers. Consider this integration testing scenario. In a banking application, a customer is using the current balance module. His balance is 1000. He navigates to the transfer module and transfers 500 to a third party account. The customer navigates back to the current balance module and now his latest balance should be 500. The modules in this project are assigned to five different developers to reduce coding time. Coder 2 is ready with the current balance module. Coder 5 is not ready with the transfer module required to test your integration scenario. What do you do in such a situation? One approach is to use Big Bang integration testing, where you wait for all modules to be developed before you begin testing. The major disadvantage is that it increases project execution time, since testers will be sitting idle until all modules are developed. Also, it becomes difficult to trace the root cause of defects. Alternatively, you could use the incremental approach, where modules are checked for integration as and when they are available. Consider that the transfer module is yet to be developed, but the current balance module is ready. You will create a stub, which will accept and give back data to the current balance module. Note that this is not a complete implementation of the transfer module, which will have lots of checks like whether the third party account number is entered correct, the amount to transfer should not be more than the amount available in the account, and so on. But it will just simulate the data transfer that takes place between the two modules to facilitate testing. On the contrary, if the transfer module is ready but the current balance module is not developed, you will create a driver to simulate transfer between the modules. To increase the effectiveness of the integration testing, you may use a top-to-down approach, where higher level modules are tested first. This technique will require creation of stubs. Or you may use a bottom-up approach, where lower level modules are tested first. This technique will require creation of drivers. Other approaches would be functional increment and sandwich, which is a combination of top to down and bottom to up. The choice of approach chosen depends on the system architecture and the location of high-risk modules.